All right, well, last week I got this thing, the Kubota 905 diesel engine. This week, this thing showed up in the mail. It's the BMW generator, starter generator as they call it, and it does 25 kilowatts from what I understand. Continuous, which is really neat. And so it has water cooling on it, it has a temp sensor on it, and it has the encoder on it or uh, resolver, whichever one it is. I I'm sorry, I'm just really bad with my terminology on some of this stuff, but I understand how it works. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start mounting that thing up to the engine. So last week I was drawing up the adapter in CAD, and although I'm gonna keep doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and just do it the old-fashioned manual way, just so I can get this thing done and testing. Um, and the only reason I was drawing that is so that I could have that drawing available in case I wanted to recreate this, which of course I'm sure I will at some point. Um, but at least I can recreate it in a future time, but I don't really need to do that right now. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way uh, and go from there. So I'm gonna start doing it. All right, so through the magic of being a hoarder, I have uh, these wheel spacers in my scrap bin, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my alignment tool for making the adapter. Sweet! All right, well, I just got done machining the adapter and I machined basically the outside diameter and the inside diameter all at the same time. And the outside diameter of this is basically almost a press fit into the, the Kubota bell housing. And then the ID is, fits really snugly on this right here. So basically, that's almost a press fit, but it's but it's not. It's about a thou and a half. Uh, both of them are about a thou and a half under, so I'm not fighting it too bad. But anyway, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go cut out an aluminum plate, half inch thick, uh, about a 14 by 14 square. Drill a hole right in the center of it. Take it over the lathe. I'll probably have to mount it to my flat plate on the lathe. Once I got that centered, I'll use my uh, live center to hold it and get the plate all straight. But anyway, once I get it on there and uh, centered, I will machine it to this diameter right here. So exactly this. And so from that point, I'll be able to take the plate, put this onto it, put this all the way through. I'll be able to transfer punch these holes exactly where I need them to be, including the dowel pins. So I'll be able to get all the holes perfectly transferred to the plate because I'm holding it center with this. At the same time, I'll take that same plate after I get those holes, keep it on here, and I'll put it onto here so that I can transfer these holes. And since that's perfectly centered to this, I'll bet that'll be all lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making that plate now. All right, well, I got that plate machined out here and did it on the lathe. That was a little sketchy, but hey, do what you gotta do. 
So anyway, I got this Centric machined exactly to what the old bell housing was. And so now that piece that I made earlier will fit right in there. Pretty tight. There you go. So that fits in there pretty snugly. And now I can take this generator and since I have that machined out right here uh, to fit tight onto here, this will line up perfectly right here. And from this point, what I'll do is line up this plate to where I want it. And then I'll go ahead and drill these holes for this generator here. I need to be careful how I align it to the engine because I need to orientate this in the right way. And I think what I'm going to do is, for one, I'm going to take a look at how this is oriented in the BMW i3. And then two, the in and out lines on the water lines here, I would assume want to be pointed up high so that all the air can get burped out of the motor. So, but never assume. I'm going to go take a look at that, make sure that that's the way that the thing was oriented and then go from there. All right, well, there it is, the adapter plate. It's still uh, obviously really rough looking right now, but that's okay. Um, this is my first fit up just to see how it looks bolted to the engine. So now I need to figure out, uh, one, I need to put the flywheel back on and figure out exactly how far out this needs to be. Uh, two, I'm probably, uh, gonna go ahead and machine it down to where I can get the diameter to fit inside of the uh, centric that's on here so I can get this snuck up to the engine a little bit tighter but as of right now this thing is on there what I'll do also is there are two dowel pins that I pulled off of the engine that I'm gonna get new ones and get a ream that's exactly the same size and use my alignment tool again to basically ream through the uh, bell housing, the old bell housings uh, dowel pin holes into the plate to make sure that it locates itself perfectly onto the engine. And then this as well. Uh, I don't know if this thing had uh, dowel pins before because um, it didn't come with any, but what I think I'll do there is Again, get a ream and a dowel pin. They make dowel pins that have like a hole through them, but they're, they're still uh, for alignment. And basically I'll ream two of these holes all the way through, all the way through the, the standoff that I make and into the plate. And I'll have basically an alignment dowel going through the whole thing or a couple of them so that this locates onto the engine perfectly in the same way. Uh, and I'll do I'll go ahead and use my tool again to do that. So with all that said, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this plate up so it looks really fancy and fantastic. <laughs> so it's uh, not just an ugly square that I slammed out on the bandsaw. And yeah, that's about it. Finish up mounting this, and then I'll work on coupling the generator itself to the flywheel. So that'll be my next task on this is to get that coupled up and uh, hooked up. And then from there, I'm going to stick it in the truck. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one next week. See ya.